Hey everyone, welcome from Switzerland. In the last video, you saw me get to Interlaken, which is probably one of the most popular spots in Switzerland among tourists. I went skydiving, which was such an epic experience, and in today's vlog, I'll be exploring a bit of Interlaken, taking a train to Zermatt and then to St. Moritz, so keep on watching. Good morning everyone! It's my last morning in Interlaken and I am so sad to be leaving especially because I feel like I haven't done enough here. There's so much to see around Interlaken. Uh, my plan for today was actually to go to Lauterbrunnen and check out this other village called Marin. Uh, both really beautiful villages nearby. But uh, the weather wasn't the best in the morning and it's gotten sunny now but it was kind of raining in the morning. And also I had some work. I feel like a lot of people don't realize this but obviously because I'm traveling long term I kind of have to just work along the way as well. So I had some work calls which ended up going on for longer than expected. But nevertheless, I'm going to make the most of my time left here in Interlaken. So right now, I am going to check out the other lake over here. So like I mentioned, uh, Interlaken is between two lakes. So the one I checked out yesterday was Lake Thun. And right now, I'm walking up to check out Lake Brienz, which is the other lake. And supposedly, a lot of people say it's the prettier lake. Uh, we'll see if it is. So there is a bus every half an hour to that village and uh, my hotel. By the way, the hotel here, I forgot to talk about it before but it was really nice it was called hotel bloom and the owner was super sweet this really like nice old man who <laughs> every day at breakfast like the last two days we had nice conversations he was really nice and i just checked out of the hotel so uh, my hotel gave me like i think all hotels do that here but they gave me this free travel card so basically all travel local travel within interlaken so buses and stuff are free but anyway let's go check out bonnegan Made it to Bonnegan and right in front of me is this massive, beautiful lake. This is honestly so peaceful, so nice, so beautiful. This town also Bonnegan, we, uh, the bus drove past it. Looked really cute. I wish I had the time to walk around, uh, but I think I'm just gonna walk by the lake a little bit. Honestly, this is just so breathtaking. planning to visit here there's another city nearby it's called Isselwald and it's like a half an hour drive uh, bus ride from Interlaken I didn't really have the time for that so I didn't do it but I think that's sort of in the center of the lake so it's probably a nicer view uh, this is kind of where the lake ends so I'm only in one corner of the lake uh, I can't imagine how massive this lake is but yeah I can't get over this view it's so beautiful So today is actually Valentine's Day. I don't know when this vlog will go up because I kind of have like a major backlog of all my uh, travel vlogs. But yeah, this is I think a really nice way to be spending my Valentine's Day. I wanna stay in this feeling, but let me know that I am safe. So it's time to say bye to Interlaken, made it to the station. Uh, I'm heading to Zermatt. I can't believe I'm getting to go to Zermatt again. I was there in December as well. I feel kind of bad that I didn't uh, end up seeing a lot of things around Interlaken, but I think it's good in a way. It gives me reason to come back and I think summer and fall are really good times to be here as well. So hopefully I can plan a trip around then. Also, the main reason I wanted to come here was to go skydiving, which happened. So I'm really happy about that. That was definitely like the highlight of the trip. But anyway, uh, waiting for my train now to go to Zermatt. to Zermatt. I can't believe I'm back here. I'm so happy. This is my room. Let me give you a quick tour. Here's the room. It's quite spacious. There's a nice work desk here, double bed, and my favorite part is the view outside. 
So yeah, this is a really nice room. I'm going to be spending the evening here. Tomorrow is the Glacier Express. But uh, oftentimes I get asked how I make my travel arrangements and stuff. Usually I have things booked in advance, but this trip has been very spontaneous. I've literally been booking hotels like the same day I'm arriving at that place or the day before. So it's very like last minute. And I have been using this app called Kayak. It's super easy. You can just go on the app and look at the different options available. So what it does is that it compares prices across all the major travel sites and shows you the best deals. So I think it's a really useful feature. You also have interesting features. So one is free breakfast. So you can look for hotels that offer free breakfast. That's something I like. Uh, they also have free cancellation, especially for this trip, I've been booking hotels with free cancellation because with COVID, things keep changing. And one of the best features on this is that they have this notification when the prices of your selected hotels drop, so you can save even more money. So on Kayak, you can book flights, hotels, cars, so they've got everything. So if you're considering traveling, definitely download and try out this app. I'll leave a link in the description. I ended up spending the rest of my evening in Zermatt just chilling, eating good food and walking around so I didn't really end up vlogging much but I absolutely love Zermatt. If you want to see more of Zermatt, you can check out my vlog from the last time I visited this place because I did a lot more things back then. Good morning everyone, had a fun evening in Zermatt and today I'm about to go on the Glacier Express. So the Glacier Express, the train that you see behind me is one of the most beautiful train journeys in the world. I'm taking it from Zermatt to St. Moritz and it's an 8 hour long train journey. This is literally like winter wonderland. I feel like I'm inside a painting. Everything just looks so beautiful. I honestly feel like the Glacier Express deserves a whole vlog of its own. So stay tuned for the next vlog to know more about this. But as you can tell from the views and the smile on my face, this was an amazing experience. Made it to the hotel room. Let me give you a tour. This room actually looks really nice. But I, it's been snowing so much all day long that the roads were so slippery. The snow and ice everywhere. So I ended up having to take a taxi, which was so expensive. It was like 25 francs to get here, which was just like a five minute drive. But anyway, the room is really nice. So I'm staying in this hotel called Hotel Baron. And here's what the room looks like. Oh my god, look at all this fresh snow here. Yeah, I just wish it wasn't snowing as magical as it looks. I kind of wanted to like walk around outside, but it's super cold, very thick snow. It's been snowing all day, I think. Just anyone I, I Good morning from St. Moritz. I literally woke up in winter wonderland. Look at all this fresh snow. Like, this is really like, it's so powdery. Wow, very cold. Uh, so last evening, I ended up falling asleep at 7 p.m. I was so exhausted. I can't remember the last time I slept that early. That behind me, by the way, is the hotel where I was staying, Hotel Baron. And uh, right now I'm out to explore St. Moritz. So the temperature right now, is minus 10 degrees so it is insanely cold i should have carried my gloves but anyway uh i actually wanted to take like a skiing lesson over here this place is known for skiing it's one of the best places in the world to go skiing my whole reason for coming here was obviously because i was doing the glacier express i came here but i thought it might have been nice to actually uh, take a skiing lesson here that's something i feel like i want to try out i think it's snowing right now Anyway, uh, that's not happening, so I just thought I'll walk around and explore the city before I head back. And there's a huge lake in the middle of the city, it's called St. Moritz Se, uh, Se means lake, so St. Moritz Lake. And yeah, apparently like the main shopping street is really nice, so yeah, let's go check out St. Moritz, see what it's like. I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and Oh my god, look at these cars, like so fancy. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. 
So fun fact, actually I'm not 100% sure about this. I'm going to have to check, but I think a couple of Indians, um rich Indians actually have houses here in St. Moritz and this whole place kind of gives me the vibe that it's for like, you know, a vacation spot for rich people. That's the vibe I get. Uh where it's so beautiful and it's starting to snow. Also St. Moritz has got its own leaning tower. That tower in the back there. It's called the Leaning Tower of St. Moritz. Okay, honestly, I think this is the fanciest place I have been to. Uh, there's this building here that looked really cute, so I was like, oh, let me go see what it is. And it's an Hermes store, I think probably the nicest one I've seen. But it's all like luxury stores here and it's a very, very fancy place for sure. So this behind me is the iconic Palace Hotel of St. Moritz. Hopefully one day when I'm older and richer, I can come stay here. But it looks really nice. I feel like in an alternate universe, I would probably be very into luxury and like luxury fashion and stuff. I do enjoy luxury, but I feel like I'd rather spend my money on other things. But yeah, this is really nice. So right next to the Palace Hotel, there's this escalator. It's free of cost. It takes you down to the lake. So there in the distance, you can see the lake. It's completely frozen. So I'm going to go down, walk on the frozen lake, see what that's like. I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby And I think to myself And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side I don't think I've ever walked on a frozen lake before. This is so cool. Literally walking on a frozen lake. And that's my view. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. And I feel so free. So basically during winter time there are lots of winter sports and activities happening on the lake so you can go skiing in the back there i can see people ice skating and stuff so yeah lots happening here but i am gonna go get myself something to eat i think uh, starting to feel a bit hungry now i don't know why i wasn't expecting to like saint maurits much but whatever little i've seen of it is really nice i really like it here Alright, so it's time to go back. I'm taking a train from St. Moritz to Zurich and it's my last two days in Switzerland. I'm so sad to be leaving but there's going to be another video from Switzerland so keep an eye out for that and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby